The MiG-15 was a swept-wing jet plane made by the Soviet Union in the aftermath of World War II. It was one of the most mass-produced jet planes ever made with more than 13,000 being produced. The MiG-15 was introduced to the Soviet Air Force in 1949 and was also used by the Chinese and North Korean Air Forces alongside the Warsaw Pact nations. The Nazis were the first to make a jet-powered aircraft with their creation of the Heinkel HE-127, which first took flight in 1939. This design would never enter service with the Luftwaffe, though in 1944 the Messerschmitt Me 262 was made. The Nazis, until their surrender in May of 1945, continued to develop their jet technology. The Soviets captured many parts of this technology, which led to their first jet, the MiG-9. The MiG-9 used the German BMW 003A engines. The MiG-9 entered service in the Soviet Air Force in 1946, but it was plagued with issues for the two years it was in service. The Soviet Air Force leadership wanted to purchase the Rolls-Royce Nene engines, developed by the British, as it would be far quicker than attempting to make their own. They petitioned Stalin to ask the British for some of these engines, to which he responded, What fool will sell us his secrets? Despite this, he requested the design from the British, who obliged, selling him a number of Nene engines alongside blueprints for their designs. The designs were slightly modified into the Klimov RD-45. The Mikoyan Gurovich OKB was ordered by the Soviet government to develop a new aircraft using the Klimov RD-45. It needed to have a top speed of 540 knots and a range of 750 miles. The new design was based off the MiG-9 and then was modified to use the RD-45 engines. The MiG-15 wings were swept back at 35 degrees. The ME-262 wings were also swept back at 18.5 degrees. This was initially done to move the center of gravity further back, but experience showed that doing this increased the max possible speed. Mikian Gurevich researched the benefits of swept wings, which led to them concluding that a 35 degree swept wing would be the best for the MiG-15. The MiG-15 was armed with one 37mm and two 23mm autocannons. It also had two hardpoints for carrying bombs, fuel tanks, or unguided missiles. The MiG-15 prototype, dubbed the I-310, flew for the first time on the 30th of December 1947. It was an exceptional design, reaching over 560 knots at 10,000 feet. The I-310 was soon adopted by the Soviet Air Force as the MiG-15, and the first production line plane flew on the 31st of December 1948. It was accepted to be a bomber interceptor jet, primarily intended to quickly fly and intercept American B-29 planes, the planes the American used for carrying nukes to Japan. In some trials, the MiG-15s would try and shoot down B-29s that the Soviets had captured, and would later be tested against the Soviet B-29, the Tu-4. The MiG-15 was brilliant against bombers, but its autocannons lacked the rate of fire of machine guns, making shooting down fighters a difficult task. An issue fairly common with the first MiG-15s was rolling to the left or right without any input. To counter these, something called a noji was added to the wings, which helped to stabilize the plane. In early 1915, the MiG-15 BIS was designed. The only difference, other than minor visual changes between the MiG-15 and the MiG-15 BIS, was the engine. The Soviets designed an improved version of the RD-45, designated the VK-1. The MiG-15 was used by the Soviets extensively throughout the Cold War and was also used by some Soviet allies, such as the North Koreans, Chinese and Warsaw Pact nations. The first wartime use of the MiG-15 was in the Chinese Civil War, a civil war that was being fought in China throughout World War II between the Communist Revolutionaries and the Kuomintang government. The Communists lacked an air force and thus requested help from the Soviet Union. The Soviets helped train the Communists in the use of the MiG-15. The most extensive and deadly use of the MiG-15 was during the Korean War, fought between North Korea, supported by the Chinese and Soviets, and South Korea, supported by a coalition of 63 different UN countries. The MiG-15s used by the Chinese, Soviets, and North Koreans were initially incredibly effective against the inferior piston planes. It was also far superior to the F-80 and F-84 jets used by the United States. Because of this, the United States had to quickly enter the F-86 Sabre into North Korea. The F-86 was far more advanced than the MiG-15 and a better dogfighting plane, 
and against it the MiG suffered a 10 to 1 loss ratio. So long as the MiG-15 wasn't facing an F-86, it did brilliantly, and gained a deadly reputation against South Korean and UN troops. The MiG-15 saw use in 35 other countries, and remained in service with the Chinese Air Force until 1978. The Soviets upgraded the MiG-15 with the introduction of the MiG-17 in 1953, which saw the MiG-15 slowly phase out of use by the Soviet Union. The MiG-15 remains in service with North Korea as a trainer jet. The MiG-15 was a legendary fighter jet. It was one of the first jet planes, one of the first planes to have swept wings, and is one of the most produced jets of all time. It was incredibly effective for its time, outclassing almost every single plane it came against, until it eventually had to be phased out and replaced with the upgraded MiG-17.